On the eve of a new parliamentary year, one that might define his prime ministership, Anthony Albanese steps up his advocacy for an indigenous voice to parliament. Not a radical proposition, but a sensible one. The PM saying the voice would both recognise First Nations Australians in the constitution, but also ensure they were consulted on matters affecting them. 122 years after Federation. If not now, when? Peter Dutton's Liberals claim the government hasn't provided enough information on its preferred model for the voice. Detail builds confidence. Detail actually helps the proponents. Today, a subtle but important tactical shift from the PM, endorsing what he called clear fundamentals for the body. The voice won't administer funding. It won't deliver programs. It won't have any kind of veto power. Who's going to be on the body? How will they be chosen? What will be the test of Aboriginality to be on the body? Questions that might not be answered until after the referendum, if it's successful. We can't lock down prior to a referendum mm. some of those really substantive questions because you need input from the communities. And Mr Albanese says it will be for Parliament to settle on the Voice's final design. At this year's referendum, Australians will be voting on the principle. Australians will only vote for a change to the Constitution if they understand it. Those that don't come on board are holding the country back. The PM's promising more information on the Voice in the lead-up to the referendum. He might choose to broadly outline what model his government favours to soothe any lingering community doubts. But if the Liberals demand detail that's reasonably left to Parliament to sort out, the debate on the voice will further sour, potentially dooming the referendum to failure. Andrew Probin, ABC News, Canberra.